Welcome to Marbella, Spain. I've come about an hour west <laughs> from Malaga and uh, I'm here for the week for a, a blogging conference, which I'm pretty excited about. But I thought I'd take you along with me to see the luxury of Marbella. It's really what it's known for. Uh, the luxury hotels, the beautiful beaches. Even the dogs are luxurious. And uh, yeah, I'm headed to my Airbnb to drop off my stuff and I'm gonna meet up with some other bloggers who are also here a little bit early and uh, we'll see the old town. It's supposed to be a really beautiful city and uh, I'm excited to share it with you this week, so let's go. Hi, I'm Laura Bronner, a gal with a backpack and a camera, traveling the world to learn more about the people and places and food in it and hopefully sharing some of the magic of those experiences with you. For the next few weeks, I'll be exploring places like Malaga, Cabo de Gata Natural Park, Marbella, and Sevilla. I hope you'll enjoy the adventure as much as I do. Marbella is a city and a resort area along the southern coast of Spain. It's part of the Costa del Sol and best known for its luxury resorts, restaurants, golf courses, and beach clubs. But I was excited to see what the hype was all about for myself and see if there was room for other types of visitors those who are perhaps also interested in local cuisine, beaches, and a bit of history in a region that is so packed with it. So I've mostly only seen the beaches in, well, the beach in Marbella uh, since arriving because I've done a few day trips. Uh, those videos will come after this, so make sure that you are subscribed. Uh, but. I gotta say, I'm not wowed yet, but tonight I am going into the old town uh, to check it out, to have some drinks and to explore more. And I'm hoping as well tomorrow to skip out on the beach and head to the old town instead. So we'll get a little more sightseeing in and see more than just condos by the beach because that's pretty much all we've seen so far. I strolled along the boardwalk towards the old town, and I was really wowed by the beauty of this part of the city. The architecture in this area was so beautiful and colorful. It was incredibly clean, and there were flowers cascading down the sides of the buildings. There were tons of gorgeous boutique shops, which, if I had a little bit more time, I would have loved to do some shopping here. I headed back to my Airbnb for a good night's sleep so that I could wake up nice and early the next day. Good morning. I've reached an age where one of my favorite ways to explore a place is to go for a run. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna head down to uh, what they call the Paseo Maritimo, um, the boardwalk along the waterfront and uh, do some exploring, a little jogging, enjoy a little bit of the morning. The sun is only really just rising here around 7 a.m. at the minute, so it's, uh, it's quite a nice temperature. And I'm off to what I believe is called the Golden Mile here in Marbella. It's basically like the Fifth Avenue, uh, but it's near the waterfront. I, I heard Antonio Banderas has a boat there and I think he lives in Marbella. So maybe we'll spot him on a morning jog. Down at the waterfront, it's almost chilly. It's like a little bit of a breeze, but the sky looks beautiful. Let me show you. So I haven't had a ton of time to explore Marbella. I'm here for a, a conference. So I've spent a lot of time in the conference center <laughs> and walking along here to get to the conference center. Uh, but the old town is really beautiful. It's very manicured. It reminds me a lot of um, sort of colonial towns around Mexico, obviously. <laughs> um, I can see now the the root of these places that I visited so often when I was living there in Mexico. But uh, the restaurants are really good if you head into the old town, but it is a definitely more expensive than pretty much any other place I've been to in Spain so far. 
um, just like a few more euros for everything. I did get an absolute bargain on my Airbnb. I will link it below. I think I paid $135 for five nights. Uh, it was about, yeah, it was about like $34, $35 per night. Um, so yeah, highly recommend it. It's basically your own little apartment. Uh, it is shared within her house, so you come into her front door, but she's super, super nice, and she's left me pretty much be the whole time, and I've been out early and back late, so <laughs> I haven't had a chance really to see her, but she's so nice, and uh, the apartment is perfect for what I've needed while I've been here, so yeah, highly recommend it. I'll give you a little quick tour now. I've obviously made an absolute mess of the place. I've already been here for a couple of days, but you've got the big bed, plenty of light, a desk, which you could work out, but there's no space for me now. <laughs> uh, I've got all my stuff there. You've got this closet here, which has loads of space to hang stuff. And then a set of drawers if you want as well. You should give me a few towels. Got a little living room area with TV. And then all of the cutlery that you need, literally tons of bowls and plates, mugs. And the reason for that is that there's not actually a sink to wash the dishes. So I put them in here and then I put that outside the door and every day she washes them for me and gives them back. But you do have this little space with a fridge, a microwave, plenty of coffee, toaster. So I've been able to make breakfast. She even included some oatmeal um, and some milk. <laughs> so yeah, doing a little work while I have breakfast. And there's this balcony out here if you want to relax. It's literally two minutes to the beach where I uh, am jogging now. So let's get back to it. Turns out I was completely wrong about the Golden Mile. I'm nowhere near it. Um, it's not in the downtown area of, uh, of this region. So you gotta head west of the city center and go quite far, actually. You can take a boat there, which seems like a better option to get out on the water and also get over there quicker. <laughs> I'm sure you could also take a bus. I will pin the location uh, of the Puerto Banus is what it's called, uh, so that you can find it for yourself and not miss out on it like, like I have. After I finished my jog along the boardwalk, I wandered through the old town again, getting lost amongst the little alleyways and stopping to peek into more of those boutiques, which unfortunately weren't open yet since it was still only about 8 a.m. The different plazas were so colorful, and I absolutely loved all the buildings that had the pot plants stuck to the sides of them. You know when you're just not in love with a place and you don't really know why? Sort of how I feel about Marbella. Like, it's very beautiful. Um, I don't know. I just haven't come from Malaga, which I really love. The history is incredible there. There's a lot to do. The beaches in Marbella are better. Uh, and I think the beaches between the two look incredible. Actually, like away from the towns and the ports uh, is where you want to be if you want to sunbathe. But it just feels like I could be... Like I could be anywhere, um, and I want to feel like I'm in Marbella, <laughs> so maybe it's a me problem, but it is very beautiful, and uh, I feel like it's been a, quite a pleasure to walk around here, except for now where I am, I don't know, like, like a... let's find the beach again.
On my last evening in Marbella, I went to a party hosted by the conference I was attending, and it was a fantastic send-off, which included a horse show, plenty of delicious food, and some fantastic live music. I would consider giving Marbella a little bit more time on a return trip if I were gonna explore more of the coast here. Uh, I've heard that as you head west along the coast, obviously around Gibraltar, and then there's you know, a whole side of the, the coastline kind of near the Atlantic Ocean, and uh, I've heard that's really incredible. So I'd throw that into the mix, uh, but I wouldn't come back and just base myself in Marbella. I think as a base in this region, I lean a little bit more towards Malaga. I think it's really beautiful over there. I think the city is a little bit more exciting. There's a little bit more to see and do. Um, so yeah, worth worth a stop for sure. I'm glad that I came, I'm glad that I explored. And uh, I, I recommend adding it to your list, maybe not as your main destination, but as a place to, to see along the way. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's my opinion. <laughs> Take it or leave it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you thought it was interesting, if you have anything to say about Marbella, you come here uh, and I missed something, let me know so I can add it to my list uh, when I come back. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.